Hi everybody, today we're going to be making buffalo cauliflower bites. If you are a new vegetarian and used to love hot wings, these are a great alternative. We're going to start by breaking or cutting a cauliflower into small florets. And the easiest way to do that is to cut the cauliflower in half and just pull them away from that center stem. I like mine to be uh, varying sizes, so some are a bit bigger and some are smaller, some are medium size. I just like a mix. And once you're done cutting them, you're going to clean them and then you're going to boil them. You want to boil them just until they're barely tender. You don't want them to be so tender that it's breaking apart. But you do want to clean it first and then you want to boil it before you fry it. Now we're going to make our batter for the cauliflower. Um, in a mixing bowl, you want to put some flour in. How much depends on how much cauliflower you're making. Then you're going to add your spices. I'm adding one teaspoon of all of my spices, the pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and Cajun seasoning. Actually, I use one and a half teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. But next you want to mix it all together and get ready to batter your cauliflower. Now I am going to sprinkle the cooked cauliflower with Cajun seasoning. The cauliflower is tender, but not so tender that when I mix this in that it's going to be falling apart. If it's breaking up and falling apart as you mix it in, then it's probably too soft. Now it's time to batter it. The only thing you have to do is just put a few pieces of cauliflower in the flour mix and just flip it around until it's covered on all sides. And you want to do this to all of them before you start frying because they fry really quickly. You're not gonna have time to be going back and forth to batter. I guess I should have mentioned to have your oil heating before you start doing this because that does take a little time. All the cauliflower is battered and now we are all ready to start frying. I can already tell that this oil is too hot, it's smoking, but I'm still just gonna test it out anyway on a small piece because we're not wasting any big ones. But yeah, it's cooking way too fast. So I'm going to turn the temperature down and let it cool off a little bit. Okay, the oil is cooler now. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop a couple of pieces of cauliflower into the oil and let it fry for about one minute. Okay, they are ready to come out of the oil. They are nice and crispy. And look at them, don't they look a little bit like boneless wings? Well, they do to me anyway, and they taste just as good. So yeah, I don't feel like I'm missing out on chicken wings, on hot wings at all. I separated the ones that were cooked in the hottest oil because I want to do something different with those just because they don't look the same as the others but yeah I separated them and you'll see what I'm going to do later. The sauce is made from a little square of butter that's probably like a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half when it's melted and I'm just going to add some hot sauce. You can use whatever kind of hot sauce you like. I'm using Louisiana and that is four tablespoons and the only spice I'm going to add is garlic powder Ordinarily, I like to add celery flakes and parsley flakes, but I don't have any of that right now, so I'm just going to use what I have, and it's still going to taste great. But if you have it, feel free to add it. I am going to pour this sauce all over the cauliflower that I separated out. That doesn't look like the rest because it's a little darker, so I'm going to use that and cover it like traditional hot wings or buffalo wings. Oh, and it is so delicious. Don't invite me to the Super Bowl party and ask me to bring the wings because this is what I'll be bringing. You can also use the sauce as a dip, which is my preference, but either way, it is finger licking good. I hope you try it and enjoy it, and thank you for watching.